I'm sorry about that, my friend. I'm not letting you draw any more cards. I have full control. You are in my domain now. Domain activation. The order of the cards of the top of the deck was changed. Oh no! Yugi, what will we do? With the power of friendship, Joey, we will defeat this ice barrier deck. Welcome back guys to another episode of Rookie to Master. Today we're going to be taking our Ice Barrier deck once again. Starting where we left off, Silver Free. We got demoted from the new season. Yada yada yada. A lot of yapping, not enough dueling. Let's go. Our first game of the day. We need to get out of these low elos, man. We should be getting out of these really quickly. Win the coin toss. Let's go. Starting the day off fresh, we're gonna go first as per usual. And I know in the previous episode, I kind of messed up the combos because I didn't, because I didn't remember them. Today I got you, fam. And I also need to change the fucking thing in the bottom, man. Thing in the bottom, man. The board, because the red is fine shining on my face. All right, so we start with a mirror mage and a revealer of ice barrier and also a medallion. So this is a good start, to be honest. We could start with revealer and then we could pop off into anything else we could also start with mirror mage uh, i think what we're gonna do here is quite simple we're gonna start off with revealer Ooh, the connections are not connecting with tyrone oh no he pulled the max c what we do is we activate revealer i don't know i like all these cards but we could discard medallion since we're about to get another one but then yeah we special summon hexa we use Hexar to send Mirror Mage into the graveyard, as one does. And from here we go into the normal combo. We use Mirror Mage to give me, give me, give me, give me. Chippy, chippy, chapa, chapa, ruby, ruby, yapa, yapa. We're gonna go with a Medallion. Special Summon into Anemone. Anemone is gonna bring back Mirror Mage. He's gonna draw a fuck ton of cards, which is kind of a problem. But we're going first, so we need to end on a good board. Infinite Imperm. That's gonna affect us kinda he's gonna negate him his effect so i can't really target this is bad i think we end turn and hope for the best next turn if we if we had gorgeous in our hand maybe i should have used that medallion yeah i should have kept that medallion that was bad play i could have used two medallions and then went into speaker and then gorgeous as well and i just summoned a level 10 even though he negated me um next time make sure let's just activate maxi Next time, Kai, make sure. Next time, Kai, make sure. Make sure. Make sure to keep the medallion in your hand. Oh, shit. I gave him cards, and this is looking like an Exodia deck. Hmm. I mean, I'm just assuming that from the amount of cards he's drawing. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, oh, we got rid of my back row. Still fine. He has five cards in his hand. We still have... Raigeki, okay. A lightning storm and a Raigeki in his hand after drawing so many cards. What was he playing? Magician Souls. Okay, it's a Dark Magician deck. We're good, fams. We're good. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. End phase? Oh. You had so many cards and you couldn't pop off? That's a shame. We need to remember we can't go into Anemone now. What can we do? We can send Mirror Mage, get another Medallion of Ice Barrier, and then use both Medallions since it's not once per turn. So we could use Almirage to send Mirror Mage into the graveyard so we can activate its effect. He only has two cards in his hands. I'm not too stressed. His back row is kind of yibby yibby. Oh, did I fuck up? No, 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 no. What we need is we need Freezing Chains before we fuck up because we need to play Freezing Chains. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to normal summon because we normal summon the magic, uh, what's it called? Your opponent adds cards from the deck. What? That's fine. Whatever. If I was to get uh, speaker, I wasn't going to be able to normal summon. Because I normal summoned the mirror mage in the beginning. Oh, he's going to play Maxi to draw more cards. Quite smart. Quite smart. Now, freezing chains of the ice barrier. If I bring mirror mage back, I get to activate its effect. Yeah. That's what we're doing. And then we're going to go into coral dragon. Use medallion to bring out gorgeous. And we should be good, fam. There we go. We get our tokens. Is there a ping problem? Why is the animations taking so long? It's like special summon another monster. Ching. 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 Okay, we go Coral Dragon. White Aura Whale. Would be goated, but that's just short term. We don't want short term gains. We want long term. Coral Dragon. And then from here, we pop off Medallion. Gonna get a gorgeous into our hand. Where you at, my brother? And there we go. And then we summon the gorgeous. 
Do we not have a speaker in the graveyard? We don't. Hmm. Because if we did, we'd... Uh, yeah. Uh, we get the Revealer. And then through Revealer, we're gonna... Yep, this is looking like a easy, 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 easy... Um... So Coral Dragon into Revealer brings us Lancia. And then through Lancia, we're... Um, through... What's his face, bro? Through Gorgeous and the two tokens. And let's see what we draw as well. Another Gorgeous. That's absolutely fine. And then we're going to get the Dragite through the rest of the Mandem on the field. The ping, bro. I don't know. Is this guy like living in the other side of the world? Because the animations are really slow. Or am I just used to Pokemon like four times speed? Alright, so now he can't activate any of the traps or effects. So we're going to go straight into battle. Um, we're going to attack into his magician. And then direct attack as well. Now we have control. We have control of the board. End phase. It's looking good. We... Turned it up at turn 3. We have a Dragite and a Lancia, which is perfect. If he special summons, if he summons, we're going to flip it to the fence. We're going to summon a monster from our graveyard or wherever. And Dragite's going to stop the spell cards and face down cards from activating. And yes, there we go. He's, he had to play a T-set pass. And now it's our turn again. In which we draw a Hexa. Who? Now, what can we do with this Hexa? We could... First thing we could do is just go straight from Hexa and then summon a level 10. Or what we could do is Hexa into Speaker into Gorgeous. Hexa, Speaker, Gorgeous. I need one more space on the board for a Baron de Fleur. But we're still going to go like this. So we're going to summon, normal summon Hexa. He's going to be like, okay, he has a hand trap. Do I activate my back? Yep, you do. Draw one card. Um, I'm sorry about that, my friend. I'm not letting you draw any more cards. I have full control. You are in my domain now. Domain activation. Maxi, he is so desperate to draw cards. I'm not letting you draw any more cards. You're going to get like... You're going to get a few freebies here and there. But... You're really not, actually. I changed my mind. Um... I mean, you are, but it's it's game over. It's it's like it's literally game over right now. Yep. There we go. Can we summon Baron the Fleur? Of course we can. And into Baron the Fleur we go. Bada boom, bada bing. We're gonna destroy his face down and end the game. That's gonna be a easy second win. Oh, is this our first game? I don't remember. I think this is our first game. No. Stop. Yes. Stop him, Baron the Fleur. Negate the activation. How dare you? I told you, I have full control of the board. You are not allowed to do anything. Now, next game. Please, thank you. Dragite, end the misery. Yes. There we go. That's our first win for today. Let's go. Started off good. Still on a 100% win streak um, from when we started to play Ice Jades. Not Ice Jades, Ice Barriers. I keep calling it Ice Jades. In the previous episode, I had to fix that as well. But yeah, I also saw some of your comments in the comment section down below on the previous episode. And I was like, I really doubt you got a 100% win rate. But it was a misunderstanding. And yeah, we have a 100% win rate from the time we started playing this deck. And we're only testing it against Silvers right now. It's a rookie to master series, which means we started rookie. We're going to master. We haven't been there yet. And so far, it's 100% in these ranks. That's what I need you to guys to understand. I'm not claiming to have gotten a 100% win streak against masters. It is what it is. We continue. He can't make up his mind. Then you don't know what your deck is capable of. Second. Second is fine. If we get good hand traps and second turn hand. It would be creme de la che. I don't even know what that means, but I'm just making words up now. Oh, we have an Ash. An Ice Trade is really good. A Mirror Mage to start off. And a Call by the Grave. It's a good, decent hand. It's a decent hand. I'm it's, I'm guessing, because everyone in Silver's go for nostalgic decks. That's what I've noticed. We had a 
Um, let's see. Photon tokens. Okay. Photon dragon, maybe. I thought he was going to play blue eyes. But let's see. Ah, shit. I didn't remind myself to change my board. And now you guys see the red reflecting on my face again. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. That was it was that easy? What do you do? I mean it doesn't have any negating effects. So we're good. And he only has 2,500 defense. Even though he has 3,000 attack. We could play into We could play into something. What does this do in your graveyard? And if it does special summon that target in any position. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in your graveyard. If oh he's He's tributing his galaxy. Okay. Oh. 4,000 to 3,000. What? Card gains attack equal to the combined monsters on the field. Oh, damn. He already has 4,000 attack. Ooh. So, basically, the idea is... Oh? Okay. I mean, he did the combo, and then I don't know why he just... Ah, uh, connection failed. We take those. The idea in that game was to not attack and not destroy his card, but banish it. It was second standby phase. I think we would have ended the game by second standby phase with the amount of cards he used in his hand. Now, my brother from Japan, we lose the coin cost. Coin cost? God damn, this is going to become a meme. Uh, we lose the coin toss. We're going second. This is game number three. Uh, usually, I end on three games, but the second game was too quick. And it's only been 17 minutes. You know, we keep going. Now let's see what our friend here has. Draw two cards, then banish one dark monster from your hand. Uh, let's just play Max C. Oh, we have Psy Fam Gam uh, we have Psy Frame Gear Gamma as well. So go in second. This is a really good hand. Reveal of the Ice Barriers, same hand as our first duel. Not too different. It's looking good. Oh, you don't want to do that, my guy. It's Elemental Hero deck. And you're going to let me draw. Did he normal summon? But I am going to negate it and destroy your card. It's it. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Negate. Destroy. Let's go. There's his normal summon. Goblinberg. And after that, change the... Yep, okay, cool. And you're gonna do what? He's just allowing me to draw. Xyz into a level 4? Yep, absolutely fine. Number 39, Utopia. This card is good. Ooh, oh, oh, never mind. Utopia Prime. I have so many cards now. Uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that right now. Not right now. Trust me, you don't want to do that. He's reading my cards. That's what he's doing. But if he does that... And he drops his life points to 10. Oh. Oh, is there another step up from number... Utopia the Lightning. Why are you making me read cards for no reason then? If this card battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Okay, once per chain during damage calculation. It's all damage calculations. What if I get rid of your cards before damage calculation? We're going to set infinite impermanence to negate your shit. And then we're going to start off with our normal... Ooh, Baron de Fleur. It's looking like a Baron de Fleur rock. It really is. Hexa. What are you going to do? What is that face down that you have? Solemn warning. I mean, not bad. But still bad. I'll end my turn. You could have another turn. Discard one card from your hand. Uh, let's get rid of this because this has graveyard effects it's absolutely fine my guy you're on 2000 life points i did nothing i still have so many resources in my hand what are you gonna do battle phase and then just attack play a card yeah okay that's fine that's fine that is absolutely fine yeah you're not battling a monster just do 2500 damage is fine yep no problem you're gonna get fucked next turn though Yep. I'm telling you, I will end the game next turn. This turn is over. This turn is over. Oh, oh, over. It's over for you. I will make it pain. I will make it pain. I will summon and summon and summon and you won't even understand what's going on. Okay. So we go Hexa. Gonna do my normal, normal. Your maxi. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Okay. Because... 
I'm gonna... No, I can't inf impermanence it, but it's fine. That's absolutely fine. I've changed my mind about summoning so much, I'm just gonna end you. Okay? You are annoying. You are so annoying. Oh. Oh, but brother. Brother, uh. You know what I'm gonna get? Brother, uh. Freezing chains. Freezing chains, brother. It does not matter if you stop me. It does not matter if you try and negate my effects. Do you understand me? They're both tuners. We'll keep Mirror Mage. We'll get Mirror Mage. Because we can. And then he's just going to keep drawing. But we have Droll and Lockbird. So you ain't going to keep drawing anymore. You have one card in your hand. Bada boom, bada bing. Do you know what this means? This means pain. This means suffering. This means everything you could think of. Gorgeous. Please special summon. Our... Uh, which one are we special summoning? We need Ice Shade Run. So... Yes, we couldn't special summon from the graveyard as well. But special summoning from the graveyard isn't going to do anything. Yes, it is. But can I bring it back? Oh, yes, it is. Hold on a second. This is the third time we're summoning Hexa this turn. Right? And then... Fuck. I didn't want to do this. Shit. Okay, I fucked up. Never mind. I was going to activate Hexa's effect. <laughs> Hexa's effect was going to pop off. I was going to... No, I was going to special summon Anemone. Anemone was going to do some stuff. But it's absolutely fine. We still get our... Um, free tokens. Which, we, I mean, we kept an em anemone. So that's cool. And then we go into Coral Dragon. Where you at, brother? Yes, yes. I hope he realizes, right, that I'm not going to um how do I play this I'm just I'm just I'm just checking so I could go into white or a whale and just destroy him and he can't really do anything because it's not battle so you know what that's what I'm gonna do and then through gorgeous's means we're just going to end the game I don't want a full board yes we reactivate this effect get rid of that card please thank you very much goodbye don't rely on battle too much, my guy. I mean, the game's over, but if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna surrender yet, because I'm, I'm gonna make you surrender. I don't care. I'm gonna keep summoning. This is overkill. I know I have you right now, but brother in Christ, I don't care. Go into Lancia. I am summoning everything against you for what you did to my Hexa three times. You did it three times to my Hexa. This is what you get. Boom. Yeah, thank you. That's what happens when you fuck with my Hexa. Don't test the might of Ice Barriers. On to game four we go. We're going to keep going. Still too early. Ooh, Tri-Brigade Omen as his thing. I would I would like to go up against a Tri-Brigade deck since that was my OG deck, my main deck, and I didn't change the board as well. I'm going to do it after this game. I promise you guys. Um, It's a good hand. Ooh, it's a really good hand. And to be honest, it's looking like a Baron de Fleur. Let's see what he goes with. Illusion of Chaos. Huh. I mean, I'm going to Ash it. Sure. I'm not letting you get Illusion of Chaos. We're still continuing on the streak. I don't know how many games has it been. It was three out of three in the previous episode. And in this episode, it's like... It's been three games as well. Yep. And he goes Dark Magician Circle. Yep. It's another Dark Magician deck. We shouldn't have a problem. I thought it was going to be a Tri Brigade deck. It's kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. We just move on. The order of the cards of the top of the deck was changed. Oh no. Yugi, what will we do? With the power of friendship, Joey, we will defeat this Ice Barrier deck. Apprentice Illusion Mage. Yeah, go on. Go ahead. Play. I know you want to play that Dark Magician so bad. The nostalgia kicks in. End phase? All right, I need to make sure that this card don't do anything extra apart from looking at the top three cards. 
You can target one or you can only... Okay, that, we need to get rid of that card. What does this do? So you control gains 2,000. Ooh. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. We're going to go with Baron de Fleur. And then we send Magic the Gathering to the graveyard. Oh. Bro, what's going on? He just saw Hexan and he was like, I'm bouncing. Fuck that. Game four, we made it to silver one. If we had a rage quick counter, that would have been really good. After two more wins, gold tier five. You know what? Let's get let's get to gold this episode. Yes, we get the coin toss. And we will go first. Please give us a first go in hand. Lovely hand. That is a beautiful hand for first turn. Now, I just need to make sure I play properly. And I promised you guys I would change the board, but I didn't again. I'm just keep on going. So, play Hexa. Let's see if he has any hand traps. He doesn't. That's nice. We're going to send Magic the Gathering to the graveyard. Oh, he does have a thing. Go Magic the Gathering. Activate. Yes, yes. And then we're going to get a medallion to our hand. Because the Gorgeous will be good. Ooh. He ashed my medallion. Hmm. That's a shame. I have too many cards in my hand right now, though. So I could still play Speaker. It's absolutely fine. We're going to continue into Anemone. We're going to go with our Coco Pops Dragon combo um, this time. Actually, we're not. Let's see if we could get Lancia and Dragite onto the same um, field. Anemone is going to bring back Magic the Gathering. And then Magic the Gathering is going to pop Nemo's Anemone to the graveyard. And we're going to get our free tokens. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's go. That's our free tokens set. And now, 5 plus 1 equals Coral Dragon. Yep. The mirror... Hmm. I would have liked the medallion to get gorgeous. But it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We go Coco Pops Dragon. Right? We draw cards. And then we, we, we have extenders. We already have extenders in our hand. But we're going to have more extenders. So we're going to Coco Pops Dragon right now. There he is. Using our tokens and our Coral Dragons. This is a basic combo of this deck. So we've accomplished that. And now, with the effects of Coco Pops Dragon and Coral Dragon, we are going to draw four cards, which we should be getting extenders and hand traps. So drawing four more cards is absolutely ridiculous cross outs okay medallion and a yes medallion and a gorgeous that's what i like to see now how do we play this if we play medallion we can't play speaker not yet anyway so let's play with ice shade and discard our magic the gathering okay play that face up Summon an Ice Shade token. Let's get Lancia on the field. Uh, hold on a second. Can I summon anything? No. Okay. Let's get Lancia. Yes, please. I think we save this hand for next turn. Because this is good already. Um, just in case he ends up getting rid of our monsters. We have Cross Out. We have Medallion for next turn. And yeah, this this is a good board for first hand. This is a good board for first hand. We have two 3,000 plus attack monsters on the field. We have a negate if we need it. We have a max C and a cross out designator um, if we need to do anything. So infinite imperm is going to negate the effects of that. Mm, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I would have I would have rather had him not negate Lancia's effect. Add one ritual spell. We're going to max C. Because I would like to draw cards. If we need to, we would use Coco Prop Dragon. I know it's Coco Draw. Coco Dragon. I know it's Coco Dragon. Croco Dragon, but that's just too long to say. Ooh. Ooh, we might be in a bit of a pickle right now. That is one of the good decks, meta decks, at the moment. And him negating my Lancia is going to allow him to play. All right, we have a game in our hands. I don't know what that deck was called. I'm pretty sure it was up in the tier ranks. It's fine. Yeah, the voiceless. Okay. 
the fact that he negated our lance here is a problem. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. If we win, we win. Okay, this card is oh, mana, mana, no money. Okay. It still will allow it to go. This is a continuous spell. You could target one of your voiceless cards that is banished on your graveyard. If a normal monster or special summon, you can ritual summon one night. Blah, 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 blah. Too much reading, man. I'm going to allow you to do it. And he plays another spell. That, that looks like too much to read as well. How many spell cards do you have? And what do they all do? I'm pretty sure at this point, if I activate anything, it's getting negated. Like, yeah, there we go. Protector of the Voiceless Voice. Get another medallion. Uh, let's see what he says. I can't activate this because he's negated. But I kind of want to try this. So let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of... We have two medallions. Let's get rid of Gorgeous. And destroy this card. I don't know if it's going to work. I didn't read. I mean... It done something. He's gonna he's gonna play something still. I don't know what his spell cards do. That's the only problem that I'm having. Oh come on! What's that doing now? Is he gonna resummon it? Did I waste cards? Oh come on, man! I mean, that's negated. It's not going to matter, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, shit. He has low the praise of the voiceless now. Yeah, this this looks... This, this is looking rough right now for us. Because I think these two cards in conjunction... I don't think he's going to draw any more cards, to be honest. Oh, he is. Okay, never mind. But it's not from his deck. I need to get rid of this card. But I don't know where he's getting the 4,100 from. You see, knowing decks, is this is why it's important. Because then I would have known what to get rid of. And he played another one. Oh, shit. Okay. That's Lancia isn't going to do anything. I mean, he gets to get rid of two of my boss monsters. And I don't think... Oh, If it's negated, is it going to stay negated in the graveyard? Oh, he's still going to negate it. It's fine. We need to get rid of... Um... We need to get rid of Lower the Praise of the Voiceless. And I'm pretty sure he can negate it. So, I don't know. Oh, Infinite Imperm. Not bad. He has two negates. That's the problem. Sure. He's going to negate it, though. If we can go into Aubergine, that's what I want to play. Because I think he gets rid of both of his cards. But he's just going to negate the activation of all of these cards. Yeah, this is looking rough right now. How many times can he negate though? That's my question. Um, I still have a normal summon. It's really important what I draw here right now. Because I can't remember if I did some of the combos this turn. It's turn three. If we go into Hexa. Alright, fuck it, we ball. We're most likely going to lose anyway. What can he do? Ooh. 
What the fuck was that? Why did he get rid of both of my... Bomba Club. Okay, surrender. And there our goes our 100% win streak. So let's not end on a loss. We go for one more game. Keep our head held high. Is this the same guy? Oh my god, what is this hand? This hand is disgusting. When you don't draw any ice barrier cards in your hand, you know it's bad. And he gets Armageddon Knight. Uh, no. And he normal summoned that as well. So let's play Frame Gear. We have two Ash Blossoms in our hand. I guess we had to be nerfed for this deck. Like, for this game. But looks like we're not getting to gold this episode. Because uh, this will be the last game of this episode. We got really unlucky. Oh, okay, no. They were going to go anyway. Why are you wasting a Dark Hole? Just to get a free attack? Okay. Questionable plays. Questionable plays. I can't attack. Like, hello? This is the first time we bricked in with this deck. And we still didn't change the board. Looks like we're going to change it for next episode. But it's cool. He sets a card and he's going to end phase because he doesn't have cards as well. Can I please play... Like, just give me anything to start off a combo so we could end the game. That's not really a card that I'm looking for. Oh. I don't want to do that. We max C so we could draw more cards. Because I... Like, we need it. No, that... that Ash Blossoms ourself. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Why would I Ash Blossom myself? Supreme. Oh, come on. We're still pulling hand traps. What is this? If this card destroys all cards your opponent controls. I don't control any cards. What are you doing? Oh my god. Once per turn when it... What the fuck? How do we get rid of this? Once per turn when a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand? Oh, that's in the pendulum. Uh, excuse me? Um, I still can't play anything. Uh, we're going to have to set a card. Infinite Imperm is important. And then that turn. End turn. We want to negate it when we attack it or get rid of it. So Imperm is important for us. But this is a disgusting card. And the fact that we got this hand is on its own going to challenge us now. If we had a proper hand, he wouldn't be able to play that card. 100%. If we had Dragite, if we had Lancia, or any other cards, when he's summoned, just negate, end the game. He's on 4,000 life points, though. So, we'll see how that goes. Oh, why would you summon that? Ghost Dogger is meant to stay in your hand, no? Sure. Oh, he got rid of that card. To get Nightmare Phoenix. For why? You can discard, then target one spell, trap card, destroy it. Is that what you wanted to do all this time? Um, if I imperm, it's not going to do anything. It's just... Sure. Negate. It's not going to do anything. I mean, he got rid of his boss monster. Is he going to come back? Is that why he done that? Because he was scared of my face down? Where did it go? He went back to the deck? Oh, I don't know. Whatever it is, uh, we're just going to go here. And then we're going to use our Mirage to pop Mirror Mage to send it to the graveyard. And there we go. And then we activate Mirror Mage Magic the Gathering's effect. I don't know why I call it. It's Mirror Mage. It, has, it doesn't even have magic in its name. Uh, select a card to add to your hand. Freezing Chains. We need Freezing Chains to bring Mirror Mage back so we could pop it to get our tokens. Yes, yes. And use this effect to bring it back. Nice. I think he misplayed. I don't know. I mean, I have called by a grave, but he's not even in the graveyard. I think he just went back to his extra deck. Um, but sure. We pop our Mirage. And then we set the combo. He has a hand trap. There we go. 
But then we also have Called by the Grave. I'm not having you ruin my fucking combo, okay? I'm sick and tired of having combos. Is that effect, Vela? Wait, no, he fucked up. Oh, wait, no, he's still stopping it. I mean, if it doesn't destroy, it's fine. negated effect so oh but it still acts as if it was used oh and he surrendered okay sure uh that was a free win we take those and we are just one more match away from gold five do we do it do you guys want to see another game i think we keep it for next episode because i'm getting tired and you guys are gonna get bored from me being a monotone piece of sh well all right guys thanks for watching this is where we're going to cut this episode off. Stay in tune. Make sure to watch the playlist, the previous episodes in Rookie to Master. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like the content and you made it this far. Silver 1. We're one win away from Gold 5. And hopefully by next episode, we should have increased our rank to Gold. But we do need to get to Plat as soon as possible because the season's ending in 30th September. And we're just going to keep being pushed back down to Silver. So I might go live for the next episode so we can rank up as fast as possible. And join the community, you know join our discord we have a little family over there everyone is treated as family we love it and yeah hope to see you in the next video peace out kyle logging out